Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Argos Multilingual's um, International SEO series. Today, we are joined by Louis um, from Brazil. Hello, everybody. I'm Luiz from Brazil, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here to talk about SEO and in Brazil. And I bring you some, some data from our marketing to know how do you proceed to doing search engine optimization here. And there are some main characteristics of the Brazilian market to then learn how to do SEO in South American largest country and the fifth largest on the planet. Uh, we have some curiosities about Brazil. Uh, Portuguese is spoken in nine countries, still four continents. Brazil is the world's sixth largest population with uh, 212 million inhabitants. Brazil is the country with the fourth largest internet users in the world with 165 million users. And Brazil is the country that spent the second most time online in the world. Uh, and the, the last one, Brazil spends exactly 10 hours and 80, meet, 80, 80 minutes a day on the internet, which equals 154 days uh, a year. Uh, how can you see? Uh, it's a, a big digital market of uh, South America and, of course, in the world too. Wow, so Brazil has lots of potential, lots of people, and lots of people who spend lots of time on the internet. Yes, uh, we, uh, our territory is like a continent. We are so big, and we have a, a, a very big population around here. And it's the a, a, a strongest marketing from, from SEO in Brazil. Perfect. Uh, when we're talking about uh, the power of the organic search in Brazil, uh, you can see um, this piece of content uh, when we're talking about the expression of your organic search. Uh, the first uh, channel who, who direct traffic for websites are the direct channel. Is this the most popular with 45% of access? Uh, and the next one is is the organic search with 26 percent uh, how can you see uh, is the second choice when you are talking about marketing strategies to making a good seo for oh my god for for staying in the organic search yeah. Uh, you, can, you can see another uh, traffic channels like display, referral, and so so uh, is smaller than the, the organic channel. That's a, that's a lot of organic search in Brazil. <laughs> a lot of organic search in Brazil. Uh, this this is, was a, a, a research from uh, uh, an agency who talking about e-commerce sites. And this chart is, is about an e-commerce site too. Uh, the sources are from e-commerce Brazil. Uh, Brazil is the leader in online shopping growth expectation and projection made in between 2022 and 2025. Uh, uh, how you can look that Brazil has the growth expectation almost twice as high as the world average. It's 11 and 35%. And even higher than country like Japan, United States, and, and France. And so the potential of the the Brazilian market is is very big. Uh, when you're talking about uh, the Portuguese language, of course, if you you want to perform, uh, want to have a good perform in, in SEO in Brazil, you wanna. You want to know about some things about the Portuguese region. Uh, despite the similarity of the Portuguese practice in Brazil with the Portuguese language practice by other nations, there are many linguistic differences in the applications of the words used. Take a look at some examples. When we talk about cell phones or just cell, 
in English, we are talking about celular in Portuguese from Brazil. In Portuguese of Portugal, we are talking about telemóvel. It does not exist in Brazil. This word don't we don't have this word in Brazil. And we can take a look at the other examples like penny. Penny in Brazilian Portuguese is calcinha in Portuguese of Portugal is cueca, who is the opposite. Né? It's underpants, the back's translation uh, when we make it to to English language. So uh, we have some particular difference from words that applicators in Brazil are not the same of the Portuguese of, of Portugal. So if you want to do the things uh, like uh, make a good practice for the language in Brazil, you need to set the correct language in your HTML code. Look, look at this error example for a global global website that is operating in Brazil. I think it's, it's the Samsung Brazil website. They don't put the the BR uh, between the PT. Uh, and the other side, you can see the correction option should be applied in the HTML code for sites that operate in Brazil. You need to do that. It will help you to have a, a better performance in search engines. It's very important to set them in your HTML code. Uh, there are some best practices for titles, descriptions, and readers in Portuguese language. Uh, we're talking about the maximum of characters in titles, descriptions, in readers. For title, we use the maximum of 60 characters and descriptions 160 characters and in header, wherever is possible, work with up to 70 characters. And here is an example uh, of a SERP from Google for, for a shirt, uh, for a, a men's shirt uh, who is shown by the SERP. Yeah, I think it's just important, I think, for people to realize that, you know, you can't go out with your campaigns in one single Portuguese. You have to do keyword research for both different markets because the words are going to be so different. And it's just important to let the search engines know as well through the hreflang tags. If it's Brazil, Portuguese, Brazil, Portugal, it is really different. Great. That's it. And mm -hmm. um, when we're talking about uh, e-commerce sites and uh, uh, take a look at this data. E-commerce sites and app sites summer had 26 billion hits in the last 12 months. This is a, a, a very important data because uh, if you are in a, such competitive market using e structured data this is a great way to get the feature on the set. You need to do that. There are a lot of, a lot of types of structured, structured data you consider to gain better visibility on the set. We have fact page, breadcrumbs, even job post, optimization with logo contact and social profile, product with offer, aggregate ratings and review, and product cover cell. And this is uh, an example how Google show it and videos. This is an important part to help Google to help you. If you can give these types of structured data, you will gain better visibility on SERP. When we talk about uh, structured data, people have a doubt where I should I put the structured data file on my page code. Uh, you can page this piece of code uh, inside of the HTML field, ready or bot. Uh, the structured data file indicated by Google is JSON LG. Uh, take a look at the example of the Samsung Brazil website. Uh, their structured organization data is in the last line of the HTML body field. Uh, 
this is an example. You can put it on the head or you can put it on the body. No, you don't, don't have problem if you put it in one, one part of it or in the other one. Yeah. Another doubt that we see uh, that people having about Stripto Grotta, do I need to be a developer to create a JSON LB file for Stripto Grotta? No, you don't need to be a developer to create this piece of code. Of course, you should ideally be able to automate this prod process with your developed team to be able to apply this data in, in, in mass to your page. However, your team can generate the initial files to your developer team, presentate, pre presenting what you need. And we have some tools that help us to with this process. Now, I, I put the uh, four examples and we have the links to, to access this page and this will help you to generate your JSON while defined with the structured data. Uh, but what insight can the market team have about the structured data? Search intent. Google shows you in the search what the search intent of the user. Look at the data available on Google search in people also ask field for search for ship airline tickets. Answer user, question, user questions in your content and tag them with structured data fact page is a great way to get a rich result in the search. So you can extract these ideas from, from the search of Google. And another uh, thing that you have to do if you are going to do SEO in Brazil, you have to use Google's web stories. The web stories is currently only available in three countries in the world, and Brazil is one of them. The other one are United States and India. With high visibility power within Google Discover, web stories have been an integral part of successful SEO strategies. Web stores are only available on mobile devices. That is important. And this is an example eh, of a web store. And I make a, a back translation for the title of the web store to see where you find home of the jobs that pay well, listed here. And in another slide, we will show uh, the kinds of slides of pop what populated these web stores. Uh, there is a practice for web stores that you must contain at least 10 slides. Uh, this is our some example, examples of how can you do that. Well, uh, the performance data of the web store is tracked in Google's in Google Search Console under the Discover Performance tab. But note that web stores have no position data. The right volume of impression is a characteristic of web stores as the CTR. The creation of web stores is done through a plugin developed by Google itself for WordPress. Make web stores and on other than WordPress is a challenge. Né? Talking to your developer team and presenting the challenge. So you don't have the you, you don't have the users don't have to search for some keywords to find your web stores. Né? This is uh, present on the Google Discover and this is present by the I don't know how can I say perfume in English. Uh, by by the profile of the the customer uh, and about 
uh, e-commerce in Brazil. In June, 74% of the e-commerce access were made by from cell phones. So mobile is so important. And we are not, uh, we don't have a, a good connection here in Brazil. The internet in Brazil is not among the best in the world. Have a responsive and lightweight page is so important to to you to have a, a good SEO performance. Some tips of making your website suitable for a mobile device. Use a modern image format, such as WebP. Avoid images larger than 100 kbytes. Use a content delivery network in Brazil to serve your images. And keep an eye on our core web vital metrics. Look at this table. Uh, you can see uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, six data from the the core vital metrics, and this is so important to see that. And we are when we are talking about mobile device, uh, make sure you use a paragraph no more than four lines in your test. You will help your users to have a. a a good, a good read of your page. Uh, well, uh, here in Brazil is a competitive market yeah, with high growth potential in SEO. Do research with the A-B test, base your strategies on data and understand your consumer. Uh, this is the best way to you have good results with SEO in Brazil. That's my presentation. Thank you a lot. That, <laughs> that's absolutely perfect. Thank you very much for doing that for us. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah.